Welcome back to another episode of Reality. Katie and Uzi are in the building. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Your skins are glowing, both of you. Can Hold you see it? We're holding on to that tan. I think we're just shiny from all the lights today. Yeah, Literally. <laughs> the ring lights. And are they actually, actually? Yeah, your skin, like both of you, like skin You've got glowing. You've really good skin, Uzi. No, you do. Oh, I'm here for it. No, but do you know what of you two? The eyes, both of you. You must just sit there in a trance. <laughs> like when you look at each other. Because like, your eyes are like, is it like turquoise, like blue -ish? To be honest, sometimes, I actually don't know what color they are. Sometimes what? they look blue. Sometimes they change, innit? They change. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back <laughs> to Life After Love Island. Have you seen social media? Like, what's it like? What's it been like for you? Oh my gosh. Every island has been getting roasted for different things. Well, they've been calling you with Mr. Mr. Bobby Pin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? Come on, like you've you've brought it to the forefront. I know. You've set in the trends. Um, Tell them what you're doing. <laughs> what am I doing? Ah, oh, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, chat me open up, opening up my own range of Bobby pins. Do it. <laughs> no, everyone's talking about it. And do you know what? Yeah, if you type in Bobby pins now on Google, it says Bobby pins Love Island, Bobby pins Uzi. Just saying. You know, I never knew it was called Bobby pins until I came out. I do, I and didn't know what it was called. I just Scotland, thought we call them Kirby grips. You what? We call them Kirby grips. Kirby grips. No, we call them. Yeah, in Scotland they call them Kirby grips. Oh my gosh! Wow. Now, Katie, you've not really been. They've not been like funny pants. Actually, actually, no, there has. <laughs> no, someone said Katie resat her Love Island exam <laughs> and came back with a with a, with a worse score or something like that. <laughs> but I think you did well. Are you you know you collected a man. Yeah. Great eyes, bobby pins. Yeah. You know, you did a good job. You I, brought us the drama. Yeah. I won. I've left with the best. But that's what I'm saying because some people there. be leaving and they ain't be leaving with mans. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. also, they ain't be leaving with a partner. Also, but the question is, do, do people go in for that? <laughs> that's the tea. <laughs> <laughs> are people, is that what people are really wanting? And that's the tea. But look, the most important thing is that you found each other. How's it yeah. been since you've left? It's been crazy actually, because it's we've only been out a week, mm. and we've not really had a chance to get like together. Like we're together, us. but it's yeah. with like you, like you guys, like press. It's like it's media. Not, yeah. It's media. So it's not in like the public sphere. Have you had a chance to like go out, get some dinner, get some drinks somewhere? Okay, so we were meant to go for a really cute lunch day on mm. was it Monday or Tuesday? Yeah. It was after, the day after after some. On Monday, but I was ill in bed, so he was being my nurse for the day, okay. running to get yeah. me lemsip mm. and stuff. I'm still a bit ill now, but I'm coming out of the that's good out of the other side of it. But you're now in London now till Tuesday, so we're definitely going to do something. Good, and you're like you usually like from Glas Glasgow, Scotland? No, Edinburgh. Oh, Edinburgh. Cool. Yeah. So what are you thinking of like London life? Like, what you what's your take on it? Uh, well, I come to London quite a lot anyway, but oh, cool. just since I've come out of the villa, I've not really had a chance to actually enjoy mm. the London life, just because we've been doing so much work, yeah, so much podcast and radio and social media, like, just loads of stuff, really. It's crazy. Yeah. But obviously, Love Island, like, this season, I've said it already, like, this was my favourite season, I think, of all time. And as you said off camera, like, so many great characters. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you coming back? Because I think, like, when you return, some people were like, oh, my gosh, Katie's going to know how it goes. He's going to know how it goes. But actually, it must have been a completely different experience because what year was your season two? What, what year was that? 2000? 2016. That was a long time ago. Like, so what was the experience like for you coming back? In fact, when you got the call, what did you think? How did you feel? Well, I actually got the call last year. What? So oh my gosh! <laughs> I was meant to go on it instead of Adam Collard. What? But two days before I was meant to fly, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but mm. it's happened now. I didn't say it at the time, mm. but I've been on it now. Yep. But um, they basically called me and said, we're really sorry, that, like the narrative's changed, we now need a boy bomb show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I wasn't massively shocked when I got the call this time, mm -hmm. because obviously I had the call last year. Yeah. Um, but I had like four days notice, so mm. I was like, you could have gave me a bit more time. Like, I need to pack, wow. you know, do my hair and all that stuff. But, you know, managed to get it all sorted. Mm -hmm. Um. And yeah, I just thought, who gets to do it once, let alone twice? Exactly. Were Why you a, not? Were you a bit nervous? Because it's a different show now, isn't it, to what it was I back was then? I was even more nervous than the first time. <sighs> I thought, people, not everyone, but some people like know of me now. Mm. Have I got to be like season two? Do people want me to be like that? Do they not want me to be like that? And I, I See, there was, was a lot so of pressure worried. on you, actually. When it was like, oh my gosh, Katie's coming back, Katie's mm. coming back. There was a lot of pressure on you, actually, to be that season two Katie. To but be then, case. But, but yeah, but, but, then, but then you're a different person. Because how old were you back then? Was it 20? 20. I'm 27 And you're now. 27 now. So it's like, people do change, but then there was that pressure, wasn't there? Massive pressure. And I thought, am I going to live up to people's expectations? Should I do this? Should I, should I? I even thought about having a game plan. Mm. Like, I was 
thinking so like much craziness when I was in holding before coming in. I thought, Katie, like you just got to be you, be true to yourself, and like no matter what people think of me this season, like, I was literally just myself. So yeah. that's all I could have done. Yeah, that's the most important thing. And when you first arrived, who was the first guy for you? Was it Zach or Mitch? Was it Mitch? Was it? Was it? What? It was, was it Zach? Zach, it was Zach and Zach. Ty. Oh, yeah, it was... And Mitch. They were yeah, Zach, Ty three. and Mitch, 100%. Yeah. yeah, so you went in. Scott, if he was older. Oh, okay. But he's five years younger than me. I like, his, I like light eyes. Scott has nice eyes, but he was five years younger than me. Wow. So they were like my top three. They probably. were your top three. But you went in and you spoke to Zach. You also spoke to me. You spoke to everyone. Spoke to did Ty. You know, just, yeah. I, I did speak to everyone. Yeah. Um, but I literally had one chat with everyone before I had to do the couple up I yeah. steal someone I actually didn't even chat to everyone I didn't even chat to Mehdi that day I don't think I even chat to Sammy yeah. so I had to couple up with someone like based on one chat so I was like great this yeah. is going to be fun and what was your opinion on Zach at the time so like think of you in that moment so at first, like I went in and I said like I want someone a bit more chilled, mm -hmm. like not the loudest man in the room, mm -hmm. you know, someone that can balance me out because yeah. I can be quite up there. So just, you know, good balance. Um, so Zach did kind of fit that, yeah. you know, the Mr. Boxes. Broski, Mr. Broski. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the one chat we had, like, was all right. Obviously, it was like I was like attracted to him. Like mm -hmm. He's probably, you know, tall. He, he was all right. Mm. Um and yeah, it was just hard. I wish I had a bit more time yeah. to couple up with someone. But you know, Love Island's Love Island and the situation I was in. So yeah, Yikes. Zach it was. And Uzi, when, did you not get to watch the show before? So were you watching all of this pan out? Were you in London at, or were you in Scotland at this point? Were you in... I was in Scotland and then I was in Holden. Oh, like... so you were watching the show at this point? Yeah. So when but... Katie had entered? Yeah. Wow. And okay. I didn't even know I was going on at that point. Oh, so and you didn't then... even know? <laughs> nah. And then I was in Holden for like four or five days. So I was watching all the episodes up to then. But you I had didn't... a day notice? Yeah, I had one day's notice. That is crazy. Crazy, I know. But when you were watching and when you like when you were in the plane, did you think to yourself, right, I think I kind of know who I want to get? Or were you just open-minded to see who the connection was going to be with? Yeah, I kind of wanted to go in and just like, get to know people yeah. before I started like making decisions, even though it wasn't my decision. But mm. I just I couldn't like fake it with someone just because maybe they're good looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... I'm, gl I'm glad I did, I went, like I did it the way I done it. Good, good, good. And back to Zach, right? Because uh, I'm not going to lie, when I was watching it in that period, I thought, okay, this is kind of making sense. Like, it felt like, from what I saw, you can tell me, like, I thought there was a lot of chemistry between you two at that moment in time. Did you feel like that as well? Um, I think when I first came in, a lot mm. happened. Within 72 hours, someone no. got dumped, had a couple up with someone, done the kissing challenge, done the dance challenge. Mm -hmm. It was very, very full on. So... He tried to kiss me on the terrace the first, like the second night. There was a lot, so I was. And just... you swerved it. Because Molly's bed was still warm. It was, you know, mm. her cup was still there on the bedside table. Molly's cup, and it yeah. was just a lot. And I actually really, sh obviously, didn't show this, but I struggled like settling in at mm. first. Like, why? I was, I was very homesick. I was quite out of, of my course. comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm a loud, fiery person, but for the last three years. I've got like three friends. I'm close with my mum's my best friend. Yeah. My dog's my best friend. Yeah. I'm very like, so being back in that type of situation, it took a few days for me to adjust. But that's good information to the people who assumed that you just would knew what you're doing, no. know what you're doing straight away. I was petrified. Yeah. I was mm. so scared and I really struggled to settle in at first. And that's why I took such a liking to Leah as well because mm. she made me feel so welcome. But I really struggled when I first got in there. So then to have, Zach be very full on with me, to be honest with you, when I was in there. Like, it, it was, he was very sweet, but it was a lot. Like, the whole, ki it was a lot. So, I just mm. wanted, you know, just to settle in. I wanted to unpack my case before someone tried to kiss me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Your suitcases weren't even unpacked. They weren't. And he was leaning in to kiss you. I'm not joking, they weren't. <laughs> I literally didn't even unpack <laughs> No, because on screen it was like, ooh, but you know what? I liked it because it made him want you more. Mm. Now, this Zach, which we all saw um, on screen at that point, that was telling me, all right, you know, Molly's kind of out the picture at this stage. Mm. You know, he's seen you, you've tried to kiss. Um, sorry, he's tried to kiss you, you've swerved it, but he likes the challenge. Yeah. So I'm seeing Zach actually getting drawn towards someone new. Mm. That's how it felt like for me. So when I was watching it, just a personal opinion, just giving my opinion, mm. I felt like, you know, it seems like he's really trying to pursue you. So in that point, did you think to yourself, he would even think of Molly again? Or did you think that, right, this is just him getting to know me? I never thought he'd think of Molly again the way he was with me. Mm. He was like, 
sorry, this is so weird in front of you, but he was I like, know, I'm so, this is, <laughs> he, he was funny. like, I mean, the fact that you rejected me, like, makes me want me, you more. You're the only girl that's ever made me feel nervous in here. He made me breakfast the morning after I rejected oh his kiss. Oh, my gosh. He didn't make her breakfast once. He made Yikes. me, like, eggs, scramble. He was, like, very, quite, you know. Full on. Quite full on. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I can be as slow as I want because, you know, I'll just be a slow burner because I know that, you know, he's interested mm. and stuff. And then, yeah, obviously, Casa happened. Molly came back. So I was yeah. like, oh, okay. And then you guys had that date, right? Um, and he went and told, I think, was it Mitch or the boys that I think he was a bit bored or something like that. Then Mitch came back and told you uh, the messy boots he is. Uh, number one, him saying that, were you surprised? Um, no, because I felt like that as well. It was just an awkward... But I think it's because, not because we didn't have good chats, mm. it's because he told me that he's never gone on dates before. Oh. You know, he told me, I said, so what do you do with girls? And he's like, oh, we just sit in our bed, like my bedroom and we rap. <laughs> so is that like, what he does for fun yeah. oh gosh Molly's going to be in for a treat then she better get her 16 bars ready because what? so I was like oh okay we're so different because like, I'm used to like going yeah. on dates like nice dinners like that's like my kind of like yeah. vibe and he even said to me that he I don't they didn't show you this but when he was eating the, the food he was like oh I get really nervous eating in front of girls like I'm wow. out of my comfort zone oh wow so it was Quite just like I knew he felt nervous and stuff, and it was just the just it, the chat wasn't the best on the day, but mm. it wasn't that deep. Yeah, but did, but, was it deep enough to for him to go and tell people that it was boring or, or whatever? Did he say boring? What was the word that he used? So Mitch? Mitch said that he said dry, but he didn't dry. say dry. Oh, so he didn't say dry. No, he just said that it was. I can't actually remember. So it was anyways word. one of those types yeah. of words. So not necessarily boring, not necessarily dry, but one of those words. Yeah. Now, what was your opinion on Mitch when he said that to you? Because that was a bit sly, like. What did you think of his character in that moment? Because he was obviously trying to get you by saying that. So I was a bit naive at first because Mitch is, what, is like my best boyfriend in there. Yeah. So we got on very, very well. From the moment I got in, he very like took me under his wing. So I thought, oh, maybe he's just looking out for me. But then I should have clocked like, oh, it's probably because he did say he wants to get to know me. Mm. I don't know if he was looking out for me or he was trying to, you know, get one under so he could chat with me, to me I, I don't really know but like it's Mitch isn't it so yeah but I'm kind of glad he, t he told me he might have mm. put a bit of spice on it but <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did he did definitely put some spice 100%. on it 100% but you know I'm, I I like people saying things how it is anyway and, yeah. and Zach wasn't going to tell me that was he so yeah and Zach is obviously pursuing you at this point I'm going to get to Casa in a second Zach is obviously pursuing you so before Casa what are the conversations between you two? Is it like me and you are getting to know each other? It's all cool. You know, we're allowed to talk to other people. Like, yeah. what's the setting? What's the vibe? Between yeah, we Kessler? literally said we're we're open. Mm -hmm. I think Mitch, even when Mitch said to me, he was like, don't put all your eggs in one basket with, with Zach. And it's like, it's not that I'm doing that. There was just no one else in the villa at that time. I yeah. wanted to get to know. And I'm not just going to pull people for chats and get to know them just to the waste everyone's it. time. That's not me. Yeah. Um. So at that time before Casa, the week, it was a week. There was only Zach I wanted to talk to, so mm. that's how it was. But no, we both said that we were open, like, yeah. so. Right, and then Casa arrives. Neo whisks you guys away after I the performance. I can't get over that. I can't get over that scene as well. Like, I cannot. What, what? What was the energy? Were you not like not surprised? Like, what the hell? We Neo fell to the floor. I was, <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe when I saw the Casa VIP on this. Like, I've watched like all the seasons. I love Love Island. Obviously, mm, I've been mm. on since season two, and this has never happened. Mm -mm. So I was like. Mm -mm. It was so funny because Neo was like, oh, let's go take a selfie at the front. And all us girls, they didn't show you this, but we were going, oh, my God, what Neo puts us on his socials. And we were like, <laughs> yeah. oh, just like, Woo! And then, like, see that? We were like, wow, it was what? mad. Anyways, Casa Rimmel comes. You enter. Um, How would you feel when you entered, entered Casa Rimmel? I was so nervous, I'm not going to lie. Really? Just, like, all the cameras, everyone just watching you. I was just like, this is crazy. Wow. But, um, yeah, I went in and, obviously, Ella, I knew Ella... Sort of. Let's talk about this because have you watched it back? No. So obviously when you arrived, Ella was like, oh my gosh, I know him. I know him. I know him. And people were like, right, how much do you know him? Yeah. Um, to what capacity, uh, to what degree <laughs> do you know him? I want to understand the relationship or the friendship or whatever it was with you and Ella before the show. So before the show, mm -hmm. I met her on a couple of nights out. Never met her, but I saw her out. Mm. And then this all happened like within a month before the show started. Yeah. And then we had a photo shoot together mm -hmm. and 
that was it really. Yeah. We um well we went for a drink after the photo shoot, but oh, cool. it wasn't a date or anything like that. It was just a friendly uh, drink. Apparently yeah. she said you were gonna ask her on a date, but you never did. <laughs> and yeah. and why didn't you? She went on Love Island. <laughs> 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 All right, but that didn't stop you because you know when you entered, yeah. you two got really, really close yeah. in Castro Amor, and she was kind of saying that you know you felt like home, and I guess you you know that probably would help you in that situation where you're you're nervous, you're around strangers, and you've met someone who you know who's in there. Yeah, um, but I, as well, also like Castro Castro is only like a few days, so you don't really get much time to spend it with other people. Like, yeah, most of the time you're you're segregated with the boys. Of and course. the girls are with the girls, yeah. um, but I had always I had always said that I wanted to get to know Katie, Leah, and Ella because they were the three that I was most attracted to. Yeah, and obviously Ella brought me back. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, but let, let's talk um, through that full process for a second. So you yeah. and Ella obviously in Casa were getting to know each other. She brought you back for a reason because clearly there was you know some sort of a spark in that moment in time. Can we just like dissect that? Like, I feel so like she was just doing it as insurance. Oh. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie, I love Ella, but I don't know why she brought you back. Because from the moment she brought you back, Doesn't she started crying and was like, I'm sorry, Ty, and didn't even chat to Uzi. So, okay, so, but in Casa, was she kind of like, like showing a liking to you? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, so so you got the signals in there. Like, you weren't, you weren't a complete scapegoat. No, yeah, but obviously, I didn't, I didn't know how strong Ty and Ella really were because I didn't really see, you don't see everything when you're just mm. watching it. Yeah. Um. So that's why, I, that's why I was even given Ella energy basically yeah um and she was giving it back to be fair but but to, but to what degree like was she get like so when the, with the energy she was giving you you've obviously just said that like you didn't know to the extent of like how close ty and ella were yeah so in casa in your mind did you think that all right like she's clearly with me now like did she give you that impression through her behavior yeah it was like ty was almost forgotten about in wow. a way because like we, we were sharing a bed and stuff and Sorry, we were cuddling in bed. Don't worry, she did it to you. Like, it's, so, fine. <laughs> it's yeah. fine, yeah. Fine, go yeah, so we were like cuddling in bed and stuff, and I'm thinking, well, if she's doing this, then surely she's not that bothered yeah, about what's exactly. going on. So it was kind of like before bed, like like the intimacy, the closeness yeah. was there. Yeah. And so obviously you in your head, you thought that I'm clearly the guy in the picture at this moment in time. Yeah. But obviously at the same time, I still wanted to get to know other people, but I just... Hmm. But, but, you know, in that moment in, in time, in Castle, that's who yeah. you were getting close with. Yeah. So when you're brought back, are you surprised she's brought you back? But you're not surprised because you've, you've experienced this intimacy with her. Yeah. I was 50-50, I was really, if oh. she was going to bring me back or not. All the boys were telling me that she was, but I, I wasn't sure, to be honest. Okay. So when you arrived back in the villa, um, how did that feel? Because obviously you saw the reality now of, like, Ty being there across the fire pit. You could see, like, the tension... What was going through your mind in that moment? So I was I was buzzing. I was buzzing before I walked out. And then as soon as I walked out and I saw the reaction, I saw Ty look like he was about to start crying. Damn. And I was like, these guys, these guys must have been deep in it. I was like, getting screamed at by Vogue, yeah. Voice of God, because when I came in, I had to sit next to Ty, the recoupling, and yeah. he kept asking me, okay, has she recoupled? Has she recoupled? He was getting so mad. Oh, no. And then they were shouting, going, Ty, stop asking Katie. Be quiet, be quiet, like literally getting so mad. But it's because he cares about her so yeah, much. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, Ty, please stop asking me. Like, I'm gonna get so told off. But you know what? In in a way, right? I think this kind of just proves because I think back then, like at that point in the show, people were like, come on, Ty's a player. Like, is he? Isn't he? I do feel like that point of the show is where we, I think the viewers kind of realised that you know what this guy proper likes. So you Ty's know. obsessed with Ella. Yeah. Yeah. He's like the way he looks at her. Yeah. He's obsessed with her. Wow. So obviously you've come back now and you've seen that these two are like, what was Ella's energy like? Because that must have been weird, you know, for from her to be like cuddling you and stuff like that. From going from that to trying to speak to Ty again to like get him, get him. It was like a, a completely voice. different person from wow. the Ella I knew in Casa. Um, but I knew straight away it was done. Even we we're in a couple, but we weren't really in a couple because we didn't really we didn't even speak for the first couple of days. All right. So but, but let's go back to like the first day when you were like, all right, it's different. How did that make you feel? I wasn't too bothered because I always said to, I was never going to put pressure on her. I always, I always told her, like, do what's best for you. Mm -hmm. So I could see what was best for her because yeah, she was so upset thing. about the whole situation. And I was just there at that point. Mm. Um, but then after we had our first conversation about their situation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it kind of cleared things up and it allowed me to start my real journey in there. Yeah, of course. And um, Katie... <laughs> 
How did you feel when you obviously saw Zach and Molly and Molly's return? Like, were you not like, what the? We all guessed it. The Casa girls. Even How? the Casa boys, Casa, we all guessed it. We all guessed well. Molly would be back. Why? Because we love to speculate. We yeah. always used to get told off to stop speculating. So we all just kind of... Um, the dumping yeah. was too brutal, I think. Yeah, it was, it was too, too sudden. Brutal. But I think, yeah, a lot of people outside were like, it's just too sudden. It's a bit like... Mm. I always say, like, even to the Villa producers, I'd be like, please, like... I could do your job. I'd be so good at it. Like, I, <laughs> I think you'd be would. a great producer on I that show, actually. I would be a actually. great producer. And I <laughs> yeah. just had that brain where, like... So I just, yeah, we some of us bought it. So yeah. it still was a shock to see her because we obviously didn't know. We just had a little inkling. But, um, yeah, I was like, oh, she's back. Hi. Can we talk about the smirk? You're like, mm-hmm. They made mm-hmm. that look well bad. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it, though? And, like, then, and, then, and then she'd done the nose scrunch. She was like... <laughs> <laughs> it was a... And then I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was brilliant TV, that though. That was brilliant TV. <laughs> At the time, it wasn't really like that, but they, you yeah. know, the cameras, the zoom in, it makes it more like intense. Yeah. But, um, but it was a weird one because I didn't even really know Molly because the day I came in, yeah. she got dumped that day. Okay, so yeah, I had, like, yeah, yeah. One chat with her. Yeah. So it was a bit, a bit of an awkward one, really. Yeah. So how did you two come to terms with that? Because you're right, like it's, a, it's a bit of an awkward one. She didn't talk to me at all when I came in. She didn't pull me for a chat. She didn't want to know anything, mm. like nothing. But did you not like you know? Did you want to maybe pull her for a chat? And yeah. Then we, yeah, like less, I think, as girls, like have a conversation type of thing. Yeah, and even Whitney as well said it was like, do you not want to know anything? Mm. Like they were coupled up for a week. Like she was like, no, me and Zach spoke about it, so it's fine. And then even Whitney was like do you not want to hear like Katie's side of things or like anything mm. like obviously Katie was still coupled up from, up with him for a week and like mm. Zach didn't even pull me for a chat I had to pull him for a chat to be like I take it you two are a done deal now like it's fine but just let me know like yeah. none of them had like neither of them had the grace to speak to me or to pull me for a chat so I kind of just had to put two and two together and just be like oh okay they're married now so that's yeah. fine but like but were you a little bit surprised at Zach? Because obviously, like, you know... I felt like Zach had no choice. Molly was put back in, and even if he didn't want to get back with her, he mm, she's mm, been put mm, back mm, in, mm. so he had no other choice. Yeah. He wasn't going to crack on with one, one of the other cast of girls because Molly was there. Yeah. So I felt like yeah. he had no choice. So after Casa, like, was the villa just a little bit tense in the beginning? Because obviously, like, I know mm. that you and Ty, like, are really cool now, but, like, that those first kind of few hours like what was it like kind of like getting in there and obviously you, you, you're new to all of this yeah it was so, weird because even a couple of the boys <clears throat> i think it was montel and scott they didn't even say hi mm. they just left after the fire pit because it just must have been awkward for everybody and i was like mm-hmm. they are, these guys are rude man like have some respect like we're all here for the same reason and yeah. these guys are just but then eventually everyone uh, understood the situation yeah yeah so yeah it was, it was that tr- night was just awkward for everyone yeah because we were in the single bed, me, Ty, Scott and Jess. Ty yeah. was next to me in the bed. Ty didn't sleep the whole night. Mm-hmm. He was on the day beds the whole day, speaking to producers. He literally didn't sleep the whole night. It was, it was a lot. I think I slept for an hour just because I was in the living room and I like, had yeah. Ty getting up. Jess didn't really sleep. It was like, it was a long night. We all went to bed when the birds were tweeting. It was like about, must have been about 6 a.m. Yikes. How much sleep did you get then? Because surely they were not going to wake you up. But they're not going to wake you up. They're like... We don't know. I guess you don't know the time. We don't know. Oh my gosh. But then obviously you two kind of spawned, didn't you? Like, (laughs) after all of this. Now, I'm just saying, Twitter was saying, when this happened, when you two started talking, I was like, okay, this is quite cute. But Twitter was saying, hmm... Did they just have no choice but to get together and just do that? Think, or was it genuine? I think that's so insulting. That's people what Twitter was. I'm that. just, listen, I'm just putting the people, yeah, what the I, people and I've were saying. Yeah, I've seen it. And that's why I literally was like, how could you not think that we wouldn't like each other? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I actually think that's so insulting to, like, mm. both of us. Like, why wouldn't I like Uzi? And why wouldn't he like me? I was, I was dreaming of an older boy. Yeah. He's a year older than me. I was, like, dreaming of a tall, light-eyed, beautiful... <sighs> Yeah. Like more chilled. I literally described Uzi. But now, but but now you've obviously said today in this interview that one of your choices was KD. I think people were just like, oh, because you was, was with Ella in um, Casa. They were like, why wasn't you with KD? And obviously, we don't see everything in Casa, do we? Yeah. So it's kind of like I think that's what people thought. But that annoys me because it's like Lockin. Mm. He wanted to get to know me and Leah and Catherine. Yeah. He never once mentioned Whitney, mm. and Whitney's never been called second best. So. I don't know. Mm. I don't like the narrative on yeah. on this. The whole second yeah. best 
chat annoyed me a bit as well because he said from day dot not everything gets aired by the way like as you know yeah yeah he yeah. always said like i was like one of the people he wanted to get to know but the narrative was more on him and ella yeah so that's that was that probably because of the storyline and obviously exactly and, and i get it um, some people still felt like, even when you two were together and like growing as a couple, it's like, all right, it's now confirmed you two are together and um, seeing each other. Some people still felt that Zach was almost still showing slight signs of chemistry towards you, just slight. Did you feel like it was completely done with him? Or did you feel like maybe he was still, he like, obviously he's with Molly, but like, you know. I felt like with Zach, Oh, it's completely like done. Like we'd never yeah. have, like talk, spoke or recoupled. But like, he he was just yeah. He he would sometimes like give. I don't know. Maybe he's just a flirty person. Flirty, yeah. And stuff. But like, if Zach ever went to like speak to me, like Molly would appear. Yeah. Like that. That was the vibe. Like, <laughs> would you just appear? Yeah. Like if me and Zach were just walking in the kitchen about orange juice, Molly would just turn up. Like the security guard. Yeah. What you saying, Willie? Yeah. So me, like, <laughs> so me and Zach, it got to the point where I was like, I don't even want him as a friend. Cause yeah, because it's, it's just too much. It's just too much. <laughs> you got him too much baggage. I was like, leave it, leave it, leave it. Like, but I do feel like she's quite protective over him, though. Yeah, she Some is. girls are like that with their yeah. men. Like they're really protective. Yeah. <laughs> so, I be like that so I relate I get it so that's yeah. why I was like I don't even want a friendship with this man it's, it's too, too much, much. <laughs> <laughs> wow and um obviously you and Ella became friends afterwards Is yeah quite good friends yeah there was never there was never any hate there yeah we were really two. close us two Ty yeah. and Ella which is yeah. quite good like that you guys were able to kind of like override that and then become friends after that yeah yeah, yeah. it's mad how quickly things move on in, in yeah literally. yeah you could in a day or two you forget what's happened and you're all just friends again like yeah. it's, it's 100% yeah. And <laughs> obviously I saw your tweet about the whole like, you know, Molly comments, Molly smirk in your bikini. Um, what are your what are your opinions on that? Like are you guys able to have a friendship? Do you know what? It's it's I don't it's not that deep, like mm. I know it seems like it's so deep, but like in there everything gets heightened, like yeah. minor issues wouldn't even be an issue in the real world. Um Molly's like six, seven years younger than me, of so course, I didn't really yeah. wanna like have beef with someone that's younger than me yeah. I, you know what we got on really well in the villa and i'd like to be in a situation where we go out and we could all like get on and stuff like that if we're not best friends that's completely fine, fine. Yeah. i'm not gonna be best friends with everyone in the villa yeah no one is um but i don't there's not i don't really f care enough about the situation it's to be it's not that deep so like yeah. just just want to lay it to bed like i hear it i'm quite surprised that they were in the um the bottom three last night as in, like, yeah. one, of the, one of the least compatible couples. Like, as in, like, I genuinely thought that they might have been in, like, you know, the finale is in, like... Really? But who else would have th been in the bottom three if it weren't them? I don't know, but I just didn't think it would be them. But then, to be fair, Locken did say, if it was any one of us, everyone would have been surprised because... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Because there's so many strong couples. There's so now. many strong yeah, couples now, now at this point in the, in the game. Mm. But I was just a bit surprised because I was, like, if you were to ask me who do you think is going to be, like, second place, I, I would have said them. Oh, really? Last week. Yeah. But that's because, like I said to you before, right, when you watch the show, especially since Molly's returned after her big comeback, um, after her big comeback, I feel like she has been a bit more, like, relaxed and calm and tamed. And, like, in her relationship, do you get what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like even the way she's being shown on screen with Zach, it's almost like they're being shown as quite, like, a settled couple. There's not a lot of drama. Oh, no, they are. End. They hate being in the drama, don't they? So, so yeah. that's why I assumed, that's why I thought to myself, maybe they would be second place, but I don't know. But then you got to think, it's a TV show and people love the drama. Mm. Like, people say about Messy Mitch, yeah, he's messy, but, mm. you know, he's given drama. Yeah. So people like that, don't they? They do. Speaking of drama, while you lot were in the villa, um, some islanders left the villa and they went on a podcast um, and they spoke about um, an alleged incident... Um, between you and Whitney or something oh my like God, that. I can't. And apparently the security guards ran oh in. Yeah, and also pigs fly. <laughs> Did you know that? I just saw one. Yeah, literally. So what was the deal with that? Because I, I asked Catherine last week and Catherine was like, oh no, it wasn't that deep. It was just like no. girls that had a couple of glasses of wine. So it was not like yeah. not that deep. So basically it was the night after Neo, the night we went to Casa. Yeah. We ended up having, when I tell you that night was about 12 hours. Mm. It was the, the probably the longest night in the villa. Mm. Uh, we ended up having three drinks. Um, 
Which is a lot. Which is a lot. We normally have one. That's a lot for me. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah, on a normal day. But do you know what I love about the girls in there? Yeah. And I I love them all so much. We would bicker about something pathetic. Couldn't even tell you what it is. But within 10 minutes, we're like, should we go make a cup of tea? (laughs) Oh, can you do my hair for me? It's like a sister relationship. And Mm -hmm. what's annoyed me, first of all, security never came in. Not once has security ever come in the villa in season 10. Not once. Mm -hmm. And the argument actually started with Ella and Kat. Okay. Wit then kind of got involved, and then I kind of got involved, and then the next day we were all best friends again. Yeah. We we basically had three glasses of wine, and we, we were a bit stressed out because the boys packed our cases, and we had nothing. <laughs> We had to ask. Sorry, that's funny. We had to that ask the Casa funny. boys to wear their tops to bed because we had no pajamas. Bejo- we had nothing. We couldn't even take our makeup. We had nothing, so we were stressed about that. It was twelve-hour night filming. Mm. We were a little bit tipsy, and it was just go that. for it. But Listen, like, so that's like normal person on a night out. Yeah. Had a couple of drinks, arguing with your, your friends, and then you're solve fine. it the next day. Yeah, but no security either. Like, I don't know where this is actually Where has that from? even come from? I mean, it was a great story to hear, if I'm to be honest with you. Like, it, was, it sounded like an entertaining story, but I guess it just wasn't true. I know, not not in the slightest. Yeah. Um, so what are we thinking about Whitney and Logan's relationship? Do you know what? At first, I wasn't sure. Not as them on individuals. Mm. Like, I love them. But now, like, since even watching them and since we've left, like they they've just really... They're such a good team now. Yeah, yeah. just getting better and better. Really. Yeah. Lost like, at the start, we were all like we asking questions. Sure. Like, a bit sus- Why sus- weren't you sure in the beginning? Just because his first, his top three, um, Whitney wasn't in- included in that. Yeah. And then the last day of Casa is when they started speaking. Okay. So. Yeah, we just, you know, we all love Whitney. We all love looking now. And, you know, Whitney didn't have it great with Medi, you know, yeah. and it was just. I don't know. Everyone, everyone's gonna. That's all we done in there was judge each other, judge yeah. each other's relationships. Yeah. That's all we knew. Yeah. So we were just a bit like, oh, is he te- like going for like a easier option? Does he know Whitney's love? You know, we all mm. think that that stuff. But like, genuinely now, they are such a good team. They yeah. really balance each other out. And yeah, if if yeah. they won, and I'd be over the moon for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think won. they could win. By yeah, the I think they could. I think it's a big possibility. Yeah. Um. Back to Zach and Molly, LOL at that scene around the table when you lot were all doing cheers and you were like, well, you know, and cheers to Zach and Molly for being exclusive. And I was like, hold on. Mitch was like, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, like, I didn't know that. I don't think Zach knew that. <laughs> yeah, Zach didn't know because later on they're having a conversation about it. So I'm like, hold on. When did this convo happen? The exclusive. So you were obviously told by Molly. So you were within your rights to say it because, you know, hello, we're on TV. Am I allowed yeah. to repeat what you've just said to me in front of the cameras? Yeah. Yeah, um, pro- yeah. I maybe shouldn't have done it as a cheers. But... <laughs> Why did you do that? Um, that was so messy. Yeah. But she meant. I think she meant goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <though>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess because she's told you before, but yeah, it probably looked worse because it came from me. <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah, I had a chat with Molly that day and she did tell me. She didn't say, Katie, please, please, please don't tell anyone. Keep yeah. it a secret. Also, even if she wanted it a secret, secrets don't, it's not, secrets aren't a thing on Love Island. Yeah. Everyone knows each other's stuff. And yeah, I'm just not going to do any more cheers. Thanks for that scene because yeah. I loved watching it. <laughs> Thanks for that scene. I felt I could have, like, I wanted the ground to swallow me when everyone was like, <laughs> what? I was like, okay, maybe not. What about um, Mitch and Ella B? What's your opinions gone? You've got a lot to say over there, sir. I don't have a lot to say. I just, it's just, I don't know. As individuals, they're great. You were shaking your head. You do have a lot yeah, to say, Mister. Like, Go yeah, on, okay. spill it. It's just because they're they're they they got they got saved and we got sent home, and I just don't understand why. Because they don't. Is he still bitter? I'm not bitter. <laughs> but you know, but no, but that's it a valid point because you two sense. are actually still together. And what did he say yesterday on last night's episode? Yeah. You know, what did he say? He said he thinks that Ellaby's fake. But I've yeah. seen a first look today and now he's backtracking it. He's saying he like didn't mean it. I'm like, Mitchell, I'm like, he, he said it. He said it. But you said it. You said Roll it. the tapes. Roll, Roll the, the tapes. tapes. Okay, so what are we thinking then? Like, because it's a bit messy at the moment, but what's our opinion on it? Because some people are saying, is LMB even invested in this? No. And then some people are saying, What's Mitch's motive? Like, what? What's your opinion on this? Let's be honest. They're not going to be anything on the outside, are they? They're not going to get married and have kids and <laughs> yeah. dogs, are they? Yeah. Um, as individuals, they're great, great yeah. characters. They yeah. bring a lot to the villa. 
honestly like I love them both um as a compatible couple i think they should probably go next yeah well i mean the finals are around the corner so yeah. i mean are they is there five couples in there now there's quite a lot of people in yeah, there there's five I think. couples i think one more couple will go and yeah. then it'll be the final four so um, i think they i mean respectfully they should probably go next yeah it's yeah i'm surprised they're still in i think a good point like instead of you two yeah i think you two should have still been in there yeah, maybe just, yeah. I think it's because we were like, we obviously didn't see much of me and Uzi, like yeah. watching it back a bit, um, which was a shame, but I get the narrative. There was so much going on with Ella B, Abby, Mitch, you know, they yeah. were giving drama. I get they all want drama. We were just in our own little bubble, just yeah. getting, getting to know each other. And just yeah. ha- being. But that two weeks was. Us. The two weeks, was we covered up two weeks? I think two weeks. It was just like, it was just so good, like. It just started getting really good, and yeah. then it kind of we went, which was fine. But I was like, oh, you know, is what it is, I guess. Yeah. And um, Jess and Sammy have had a journey, a haven't journey. they? Journey. I love Jammy. Oh, I love that Jammy. Jammy. I'm here for it. Watch all the fans start using that. I love Jammy, Jammy to win. Jammy to win. I love them so much. Oh, I can't. I actually, they are the the best people ever. I know Sammy didn't get portrayed in the best, but he's just a lovable. Oh, I love him. Yeah, he's and such Jess, a nice guy. I love them so much. They're literally like best mates. And they, yeah, they get on so well. I don't know. I don't know. What I people, don't know if it gets shown. I don't know if it gets shown that way. How good they actually are. Yeah, they're like um, proper best friends in there. And Ella and Tyreek have just come leaps and bounds. I think, in terms of winners, in my opinions, in my opinion, either between Whitney and Loken or Ella and Tyreek. Yeah. But I kind of, I don't know. Like, I like I'm, Jess I'm, and Sammy as well. And Jess and Sammy. But you're right. I think Sammy wasn't shown in a good light for quite a while. I know. So it's like, even though Jess is with him, it's like, I'm happy for you two, mm. but we're still no, waiting to it. see. Do you get it? Like, we're I still waiting it. to see. I get it. You know, but I don't know. Yeah, if I could pit it like top two, it would definitely be Ty and Ella and Whitney and Lockin for yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, but no, like, I do like Jess and Sammy. But even if Zach and Molly like one, like them four couples have genuine connections. So who's the f- is the fifth one literally Mitch and Ella B? Yeah, stop it. Yeah, <laughs> stop, stop, <laughs> stop it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Um, yikes. <laughs> um, so from this experience, obviously, Katie, like you, you have been on Love Island before. Mm. Um, how has the experience been different for you? Oh my god, so different, so different. But how? Season two, I came on as a bombshell, but I was the first bombshell. Mm -hmm. So I came in from the second day. Then I got all the way to the final. So Mm -hmm. I'd done the whole thing. Um, I had a boyfriend in there, like as in we got together. Um, The challenges were different. Production was different. The villa was different. So, you know, we could smoke in there. You could drink more. So, you know, very different. Um, Season 10, absolutely loved it as well. Like, honestly, unbelievable. But it was just you know, a lot more um, structured. Yeah, of course. Um, As times have moved on in the media and stuff like that. Yeah, and I feel like the people this time were like more, like I'm a big character, but I sometimes felt lost in there Mm. because the characters were just like unbelievable casting, by the way, the people in there. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Incredible. I even Mm. like even said to like, oh, I can't say, well, the production people, I'm like, Mm. you've casted so well this year. Like these people are amazing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just mad to do it for a second time. Like, it's Damn. crazy. Oh my gosh, by the way, heard the rumours that Catherine and Elom have split up. That's that. the tea I have got. That is the gossip on the radar in my ear. That, that's what I've heard. Um, do we now think that Scott and Catherine could have a reunion? No. no. Why? I don't think so. Scott would never go back there. Why? That's what everyone wants on Twitter. I know, but people can't always get what they want. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Why would Scott go back there? Um, I don't think he ever liked her in the first place. What? <laughs> How? <laughs> Why? He, I don't think he liked her as much as it was shown. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've heard that apparently in Casa Amor, Apparently, he just said, like, the only reason why he didn't couple up with anyone else was because there wasn't a better option there yeah, for him. that's what he literally, yeah, he said that. Boy, that's, what, said I, that's the, what I heard. Well, no, he's, that word was because the lineup wasn't strong enough. Yeah. But then again, some of the classic girls are saying that nobody was going to choose, wanted to choose Scott. Yeah. So, Yeah, we got told, like, Amber said to me, to some of the girls, that none of the girls wanted him in there. That's odd. 
I know. So, you know, and also some of the Casa girls on a radio present, a radio thing saying that I had security come in. With. Yeah. So, you know, I can't always believe everything, can you? But Scott... Scott and Catherine, no. I'm actually quite upset about the Catherine and Ellen thing. Yeah. Because, like, we so really you... backed Catherine and Ellen. I thought, yeah, in the we... villa. I so, yeah, talk strong. to me about how they were in the villa. Because, obviously, like, you know, I've only seen them from the podcast interview last week where, obviously, Elon popped into the studio and I asked them, you know, like, I asked Elon, do you feel like you're ready for a relationship? And he said... I am focusing on myself and Catherine, and I think we need to focus on each other. So why and... did he go on Love Island? Oh, he even said, didn't he? He went, I'm only on Love Island for my business. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't. Elon is the funniest. But... Elon, I swear to God. Elon. <laughs> But you he's can not tell even here, he's making TikToks. me laugh. His TikToks is about his business. Yeah, business. no, no, you know, like, let's call it Spade a Spade. I'm like, his TikToks are about his business. And it's like, you know, he's, I think, look, I think now they're no longer together. Obviously, Elom is indeed focusing on his empire that he's said that he's wanted to build. So. I'm upset about Elom and yeah. because from the moment they got into Casa, <laughs> they hit it off. The connection. No, but I was... saw, okay, no, let's go, like, I actually saw them hit it off. Like, yeah. I saw sexual chemistry. Yeah. With those two. yeah. They literally, like, more so. <laughs> Then, more so than Catherine and Scott, and they had longer together, there was more chemistry in, yeah. with Ellen and Catherine in 24 hours than there was with Scott and Catherine. I do think that's a shame. I was rooting for that them in there as well. That was such a shame. Even when they got dumped, I was like, hell. Yeah. I was rooting for them, but, you know, sometimes life is life, guys. Um, future plans for you two? Obviously, like, I can't lie to you. I really like you two together. So if you guys go and do your Catherine and Elon on me, I'm going to DM you both. <laughs> Like with anger and fury. No. So. No. Obviously, we're still early on as well. Yeah, getting to know but, each other, yeah. enjoying the ride. Yeah. yeah, seeing each other, you know, we've only been out a week. It's been a lot, but I'm definitely going to come to Edinburgh. Once the final's out of the way and the reunion and everything, and our schedules are hopefully a bit more yeah. and stuff. I've yeah. never been to Edinburgh. It's so. a it's a lovely it's so beautiful. Yeah. So I've been to Glasgow and Edinburgh, but Edinburgh like the scenery is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the clubs there though, man? Because like there's in clubs. Glasgow there's, there's like clubs. You're gonna take me to clubs. There's better clubs in Edinburgh. In Edinburgh. Yeah. Do they pop off like that though? Yeah. <laughs> You're like yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ask about me. No, no, no I'll look into no, it. No, it's definitely no. We probably I don't know if we'll go clubs, but. But you're in London quite a lot, so yeah. we'll yeah, we'll go yeah, just to the enjoy food it. and stuff. Are we excited? Oh, the screening will be really nice. The fine, we're all going to be out. Yeah, Monday. Yeah. Is that yeah. Monday? Monday. Yeah, yeah, celebrate, enjoy life, yeah. and just, yeah. But Katie, you need to be teaching um, Uzi about just like this lifestyle because you, you already know about I'm it. I'm like right? his new manager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm teaching yeah. him all the ropes. Wow. It's a new world for you, isn't yeah. it? I've been doing it seven years. So. Exactly. It's scary. You got a lot to it's learn. A lot, it's a lot to take in. It's well. a lot to take in, but you'll you'll cope. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.